Hello, this is Maker J1, and, well, Merry Christmas. Um, Santa was pretty good to me this year. Um, I got some pretty sweet stuff. Um, I got these um, oscilloscope probes, this little, um, these are 1 and 10 times um, 100 megahertz oscilloscope probes, so now I have some real oscilloscope probes, so that'll be real, real nice. Um, some solder wick, I think this is, yeah, 25 feet. Um, and then these breadboards, this little one and a very large one here. Um, these breadboard jumpers, there's actually two kits here of them, but I mixed them together. Um, they, they seem pretty sturdy, well, fairly sturdy, um, but the ends don't bend, so that's, or very easily, so they seem pretty good. Um, but yeah, so they seem pretty good. And this little box of jumpers actually came with this one right here. And then 50 white LEDs. I forget what the intensity is on these, but um, they're pretty bright. Um, they actually give me 51, so I'm pretty happy about that. I think they're rated at 20 milliamps. Um, I'm not, I don't remember exactly, but... Um, and actually, these this little uh, cable tie came with them. So, Blue Cell, I guess that's the company that made them, or that distributes them. Um, so, yeah, that's my sweet stuff I got. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm also starting to work on my a new, on another Sterling engine because this one, the performance isn't quite what I wanted it to be. Um, and I think that's because it doesn't have a reed generator. Um, so I think I, I'm actually going to try first probably um, replacing the piston with a um, large diaphragm to see if I can get more power out of it because I think that might be part of the problem. Um, but I'm only getting a about a quarter of a watt from it at maximum and that's with the blowtorch so that's pretty bad um, my other engine that I built before this one that was a bit smaller um, I think it got about a third of a watt so yeah this one's worse than that one but it is I mean it looks nice and it runs real smooth but it doesn't quite have the amount of power I was hoping for so so yeah, I think I'm going to probably try putting a diaphragm on it. If it, that doesn't improve it, um, I will probably build a new one. I've already started it. This is the uh, displacer there. Drilled lots of holes in that. So, so yeah, that's going to be the displacer slash regenerator. And I'm just going to use one can this time because if I connect two together, it's going to be the where I connect them together, the steel wool will get caught on that. So... I don't want to do that, so I'm just going to have one can. So, hopefully I'll get, maybe, I'm shooting for one watt. Uh, that might be a little high, but hopefully I'll get closer to that one watt. Um, so, yeah, um, I think that's about it. Um, so, yeah, I'll keep you guys posted um, on my projects. Um, thanks for watching.